Okay. We have another problem here, still on isotonic solutions. It says, how much sodium chloride should be added in the preparation of 25 ml of pilocapine hydrochloride, 2% eye drops, to render them isotonic. A 2% solution of pilocapine hydrochloride depresses the freezing point of water by 0.0, .0 by 0.262 degrees eh, Celsius. Now, remember the watchword. Whatever I will do to this pilocapine eye drop we want to prepare to make it isotonic by rendering it, making it possible for it to depress the freezing point of water by 0 0.52 degrees Celsius. Pilocapine hydrochloride on its own, 2% pilocapine hydrochloride on its own, can only depress the freezing point of water by 0 0.262 degrees Celsius. And this is not enough to make it isotonic. That's why we need to add what? Sodium chloride. But we don't know how much of sodium chloride we'll add. How do we determine how much of sodium chloride to add? To determine that, we need to check, get the difference between the extent to which pilocapine and chloride can depress the freezing point of water. We subtract it from the normal extent for to which freezing point of water should be depressed for the ice for the solution to be isotonic, and that is what. 0 point, by 0 0.52 degrees Celsius. So now we, we have to surprise zero point, this from 0 0.52 degrees Celsius. So whatever they will get as a result, we now use it, use it to set a, set a proportion, to set a proportion with already known strength of sodium chloride that can depress the freezing point of water by a certain amount. Generally, 0.9% of sodium chloride solution depresses the freezing point of water by exactly 0 0.52 degrees Celsius. But in order to ease, for ease of calculation, we use 1%. So if we convert 1%, actually 0.9% volume per weight sodium chloride depresses by what? 0 0.52 degrees Celsius. And this is what we are looking for. But by calculation, 1% weight per volume sodium chloride depresses by, by what? 0 0.1576. So for ease of calculation, we normally we can use this. So let's go. Now the another thing there, we have to let, let's determine the what difference. They told us that they told us that uh, two percent pilocapine. Weight per volume, of course. Two percent weight per volume. Pillow. Capain. HCL. Depresses by what? Zero point two six two watt degree Celsius. So now let's determine the what is remaining. We need it to depress to what? Zero point what? 52 degrees Celsius. So let's subtract this from this. This will give us what? Let's cancel this. Let's minus what? 0 0.2 2 at 0 here for ease of subtraction. So let's go. Kind to here, put here, it comes what? 10. 10 minus 2 is what? 8. Sorry, carry one here, put here, it comes 10. 10 minus 2 is what? 8. What is remaining here? 1. Take one from here, put here, it becomes 11. 11 minus 6 is what? 5. What is remaining here is what? 3. 3 or 4, sorry, 4. 4 minus 2 is what? 2. Bring down point, bring down 0. So we have 0 0.258 degrees Celsius. This is the extent, the further depression we need to make 
this solution of pilocapine hydrochloride isotonic and the sodium chloride that can do this. So now we use this thing now, we now we determine the amount of sodium chloride that can cause this depression. So that amount of sodium chloride that can cause this depression is the amount we needed to add in the solution. All right, let's go. There, we bring down this relationship here. There we say 1% one, one weight per volume sodium chloride solution. We say it depresses by what? 0 0.576 degrees of Celsius. So the next thing we'll do is this. Let's determine the strength of sodium chloride solution that can be pressed by 0 0.258 degrees Celsius. We know we we'll call it X, 0 0.258 what degrees Celsius. So X is now equal to what? 1% weight per volume times what? 0 0.258 degrees Celsius. All over what? 0 0.576 degrees Celsius. Degree Celsius cancels degree Celsius. This one will go. So everything is now equal to what? X is equal to what? 0 0.258. All over what? 0 0.5716. All is now in what? Percent what? Root per what? Volume. Let me clean some. So let's clean from here. Green. All right. Okay. okay. Let's stop here. So we don't clean what we need to cut to bring forward. So let's go. So here, what we do is this. This is in decimal fraction. We convert them to common fraction. From there, we convert them to what whole number and, and divide. So let's go. X is now equal to what? Converting this is this 0 0.528 is certain as saying 528 over what? 1000 divided by 576 over what? 1000. All in what? the um, percentage with the word volume so for this to go this has to come up we invert the second one making it what 258 over 1000 times 1000 over 576 with percentage with volume so 1000 will cancel 1000 so 5 258 divided by 576 will give us what 258 is less than 576. So we bring zero and add decimal point. We now add zero here. How many 576 are there in 2580? By estimation, we have we have roughly four. Four four five seven six. Oh, so we have four. What is remaining? Let's check out five seven six times 4 will give us what? 4 times 6 is what? 4 times 6 is what? 24. Put right 4. Carry 2 here. 4 times 7 is 28. Plus 2 is 30. Right 0. Carry 3 here. 4 times 5 is 30. Plus 3 is 33. So here now we have 3,304. Sorry, man. We have 2. This is 2 times. 4 times 5 is 20 plus 23 is 23. We have 2,304. So if, if this divided by this, we have 4. Remember what? Remember what is remaining? Let's subtract this from this. 0 minus 4 cannot go. You can't put here. It becomes 10. 10 minus 4 is what? 6. What is remaining here? 7. 7 minus 0 is what? 7. 5 minus 3 is what? 2. 2 minus 2 is 0. So, so we have 4. Remember, 2, 7, 6. So let's continue. If you continue dividing, we'll add 0 here. It is already on this side. So we'll add 0. Divide 5, 7, 60 by 5, 7, 2, 7, 60 by 5, 7, 6. What will it give us? 
how many 576 are in 2760? We have roughly roughly four again. Four. So let's stop. Let's multiply and see. 576 times 4 is the same 2304. So let's subtract this from this. The this is 0, carry on, put it constant. 10 minus 4 is what? 6. What is remaining here? 5. 5 minus 0 is what? 5. 7 minus 3 is what? 4. So we have 4, 5, 6. So we have 4. If this is divided by this, we have 4. Remember 4, 5, 6. We add another 0 and continue. We add another 0 and continue. How many? This divide 4,560. How many of these are in 4,560? Let's go. This 10 times this by 10 will give us this. So let's go. This is roughly, if you check it now, is roughly, is roughly 8. Because this 576 is more, more than 560. So it's roughly what? 8. We put 8. 8. So let's see what will happen. 8 times 576. 8 times 6 is what? 8 times 6 is what? 48. Put 48. You put 8. 8 times 6. Yeah, put 8. Carry 4. Put here. 8 times 7. 56 plus 4. 60. You put 6. 0. Carry 6. Put here. 8 times 5. 4. Am I, am I getting it? No, no. It, it's more than... This should be. This should. Okay, let, 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 let's 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 keep going. If you if you okay, eight times four, eight times four, eight times eight times six is forty-eight. Carry for put here. Eight times four, eight times seven is twenty-eight. Plus two, six. Eight times seven is forty. Forty. Fifty-six. Plus two, sixty. Carry six put here. Eight times five. Is 40 plus 6 is 46. No, it's above. It's above. So we subtract. So this should, this should, what should we should have is 7. It's 7. Because if, if you, if you go by 7, if you go by 7, you have something like this. 7 times 6 is 42. Carry for put here. 7 times 7 is 49. 49 plus 4 is 53. Carry 3, put here. Carry 5, put here. 7 times 5, 40. 35 plus 5, 40. So we have this. So this is okay. So it's 7. So let's know the remainder. 10 minus 2 is what? 8. 5 minus 3 is what? 2. What is remaining here? 5. Bring down the 5. So, so this is 7. So if 5, 7, 6 divide 4, 5, 6 to give us 7, remember 5 to 8. So we add another 0 here, we come 5,007, 280. So how many 5, 7, 6 and 5,280? It's roughly, if you multiply by 10, you go, you go 5,007, 6, so it's above 5,208. So the next value now, it should be 9. So it's, it's somehow 9. So at this point, it's better we, we stop at this level. So this is approximately what? 0 0.4 what? What? 8. So let's clean up so that we don't mix up numbers. We have gotten what we are looking for. 0 0.4 what? Probably what? 0.448% what? Weight per volume. Now, this is 0.448% volume. Weight weight in volume or weight per volume. So what it implies is that that this this thing is equivalent to 0.448% weight per volume. It's equivalent to what? 0.448 gram of sodium what? Chloride in what? 100 ml what? Solution. So in 100 ml solution, 0.448 gram of sodium chloride can cause the what? The, the, the depression, but they are asked us the depression in 25 ml of the pillow capin. So, if 0.448 sodium chloride can cause depression in 0, 100 ml, so how many can cause the depression? If 0.448 sodium 
gram can cause the depression in what? 100 mil. How many grams of sodium chloride can cause the depression in 25 mil? Can cause the depression in what? 25 mil. That's what you are looking for. How many can cause the depression in 25 mil? In what? 25 mil of the what? Solution. When added. So what it implies is that X is now equal to what? 0.448 gram. That is what? 25 mil. All about what? 100 what? Mil. Mil cancels mil. 25 divided 100 give us what? 4. So 4 divided 0.448 will give us what? Let's go. This will give us 4 divided 8 is, is what? 2. 4 divided 4 is what? 1. 4 divided 4 is what? 1. Point what? 0. So you use the answer is now equal to what? 0 0.112 gram. So 0 0.112 gram of sodium chloride is needed to be added in a preparation of 25 ml of pilocapine hydrochloride eye drops to render it isotonic.